Alrighty guys, good morning, Madman Mandelo coming at you live from the Gardendale Garage here in beautiful Alabama. All of us are down on the ground instead of up in the trees. Okay, now, well, wake up this morning and we're getting tropical storms. I'm loving that. Okay, I go look outside and it's like doom and gloom and I'm like, this is ridiculous. You know, this is just freaking ridiculous. What freaking weather? Oh, and it's supposed to be like that all week. I'm like going like, really? Ugh. Anyway, alright, look. Well, Got three uh, three console stream here, okay? We got uh, Mr. Travis uh, Valerio, we have uh, Jackson Meyer, and we have Michael Stevens, okay? Also known as the Crazy Cookie. Now, alrighty. Well, the first console we're gonna do is gonna be a demonstration with a guide and how to get it set up and online and all that stuff. Hey, Michael, how are you, man? Doing good. And uh, you know, and um, we're gonna go through that, and then the other two I'm gonna showcase. All right. So, uh, we're going to go ahead, and what we're going to do is, first I'm going to turn off this light a little bit, because it's, like, really bright, all right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to fire this mother up, okay? Now, it's up on Alliance servers, okay? Got your purge lifetime and trials, and then, of course, you got, um, you know, BO2, MW3, Ghosts, and Advanced Warfare off hosts, all right? You got, uh, you got, um, uh, college football revamped, uh, and for NCAA 14, and uh, this is the latest version. Now, mind you, uh, this weekend, they're supposed to be updating once again, okay? And they're doing the rosters or whatever from what Stu, De uh, from what Stu Douglas uh, was telling me. So, uh, you know, be on the lookout on the GitHub for the, um, for, the, uh, up, uh, for the update and everything. So, just in case, you know, you have to update this thing, you can. I'm going to explain how to do that, all right? Anyway, we're going to boot up. We're booting up into Aurora. Now, this is Travis's console, okay? This is Travis Valerio that we're going to go, that we're going to use, all right? Now, uh, this thing is a Trinity, okay? It's got a one terabyte drive in it, all right? She's all good to go. We're booting up into Aurora now, and as you can see, this is the dashboard that we come to, all right? Now, all right, let's go through this rather quickly. That's good. Hey, KC, what's happening, man? Good to see you, brother. All right, now look, here's what we're going to do here. We're going to hit the back button first. Okay, well, wait a minute. First, got to turn the freaking controller on. Holy shit. All right, early in the morning, yeah. Okay, so anyway, I hit the back button, okay? And as you can see, you got your file manager scripts. Restart, reboot, and shut down, okay? Uh, then when you hit the uh, start button, you have the business end of this thing where you got your assets, your profile, your content. Modules, language, security, and about. And I went through, um, I did a video on, on the content side of this thing on how to hook up an external drive to this thing. So if you have games and you want to rip them, you can. And you can rip them to your USB uh, drive. Just got a formatted FAT32. Uh, you know, if you have if you have a bigger drive, you, you're you going to have to partition it, okay, in order for it to see it, okay? So, you know, but most of the time, you know, like a 2 terabyte uh, external or whatever can do, and you can format it FAT32, and you can keep one volume, and then, you know, you can just make a, make a file system structure with this, and, you know, scan it for the games, and it'll find it and download the artwork for it and everything, all right? So it's pretty expandable. All right, now... Hitting the RB or LB will bring up the subcontext menu, as you can see, show all. All right, so we got Xbox 360 games, okay? Now, look, we'll start from here. There is a ton of games on this damn thing, okay? I mean, there is a ton that should keep you busy for a while anyway, okay? All the title updates have been done, okay, on these, so you don't have to worry about doing the title updates and everything. I already downloaded them. We got a bunch of NCAA, as you can see, including that one. You know, that's a that's a real important one. Okay, so on and so forth. And you know, there's there's a ton of crap on here. That you know, I mean, all kinds of wrestling games, sports games, shoot games. You know, I mean, everything that yeah, everything you could want. All right, now we'll hit the RB button again. Xbox Live Arcade. You got a ton of freaking Xbox Live Arcade on this damn thing too. So you know, I mean, it goes on and on and on. Now. Homebrew section where your tools reside. We're going to go over that. We're going to go over some steps with that. Classic games, okay? Yeah. Now, you got a ton of them on there, too, as well. All right? Those are for the original Xbox. They don't have any title artwork for that stuff. I need to talk to Kabob about that. All right. Then you got indie games. You got a ton of indie games on here, as you can see. And then, of course, you got your emulators, and they're fully loaded. There's over 8,000 ROMs total. On this thing, so, you know, I mean, if you're into the old stand-up arcade side-scrollers and all that, you know, for nostalgic purposes, it's there, okay? And then, of course, we're back to show all, all right? Now, okay, now that that's all done, all right, tell you what, we'll go over here, we'll go to Xbox 360, all right? We'll go to the, uh, 
dashboard right here. We'll hit it. Okay, she's up and online, of course. She's got a good KV on it. I'm going to back out of this right now. You sign in. There you are. Okay, you're up and you're on live. All right. Now, our guide button, when you hit it, you get on over to the fifth tab. You got your advanced warfare cheats, BO2 cheats, ghost cheats, and modern warfare 3 cheats. Okay, to disable, hit A. To enable, hit A. All right. And then to bring it back, just go back to Xbox Home. Just like that, and that'll take you back. All right. Now, all right. I'm going to uh, go ahead and I'm going to go over a uh, couple of cheats with this thing. Okay, now this applies to all the consoles that I'm going to show. All right, so, you know, I mean, this this is how you're going to have to, this is what you're going to have to do and everything. All right, it's it, it's standard for all of them, just to let you know. All right, so anyway, we'll hit the guide button, we'll sign in. Here we go. And I'll sign into a live profile here. Now, that's my profile. All right, now, you should sign in. Well, we shouldn't have a problem anyway, I would hope. Yep, there we go. Okay, we're signed in. All right, life is good. All right, now. Okay. Now, first thing we're going to do, first things first. Okay, we'll go on over. And uh, we'll do this one right here. Let me find it. There it is. Okay. All right, look. NCAA Football 14. Okay. Now. All right, this is the latest version. Okay, this has the downloadable content with it too. If you go to the College Football Revamp GitHub You'll see that there's seven files that you have to download. Okay, now they've already been downloaded. Okay, and they're all good. Uh, when you do the update, you know, when they come out with the update, which they should be coming out with this afternoon, all right, uh, you're going to have to copy those files back over to this thing. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really easy, okay? Well, for right now, it's updated. It's good. It's good to go. It'll play. All right, now, all right, just to show you here. All right, we'll press start. Loading. Connecting, all that other happy nonsense. There we are. Hit the hard drive. Okay. Now, also Stu Douglas, uh, he gave me the uh, he gave me a roster for this thing. Okay, you know, I mean, now they're fixing that. Now, it, now it is the 2020 season. Okay, they're doing an update, and they've been uh, working on the 2021 season. Okay, so that's that's coming. Okay, and it might be today. All right, so just to let you know. But uh, the season works and everything. And how you can tell, that's the latest update, is if you go right here, you see the little surfing bird on the helmet? That's the latest one. So, you know, I mean, pretty much you've got the latest update here. Everything plays. You know, everything works just fine. No problems. You got your dynasty, you know. And as you can see, it's online. Everything works just fine. You got your road to glory. You got creative player, your existing player. Ooh, the Heisman Challenge, yes. All right. Then, of course, you got your Ultimate Team, your Season, Xbox Live, uh, My NCAA Legacy Settings, EA Sports Extras. Okay, the whole nine yards. Everything works on it, okay? So, you should be good to go. Now, if they drop this update, okay, this afternoon, there's going to be six files you're going to have to copy over. All right, which is no big deal. You can do it with a computer. It's very easy. Or you can do it even on a USB stick. It doesn't really matter. All right. The point is, though, is that you're going to have to do it. And you're going to have to get with College Football Revamp GitHub. Google that. YouTube it, okay? It's important because, you know, I mean, you got you, you got to go there, and that's where all the latest stuff is. Okay, also how to hash rosters and everything. Now, my buddy Stu Douglas, he told me he's like, he, he, he wants to help out. So anybody that has a problem hashing a roster or whatever, okay, he's got it down to a science. He'll show you how he does it. He'll help you in doing it, okay? He just helped uh, just helped another guy uh, learn how to use, um, use uh, learn how to use FTP. You know, with FileZilla and all that kind of good stuff. And, you know, I mean, he's a really good guy. Just don't hit him up too hard, all right? Because the guy is, you know, he, he he's doing this out of the kindness of his heart, okay? So, you know, I mean, like I said, if you really want to get into it and you, you need a roster or something like that, he'll help you, okay? It's no big deal. But anyway, she's all good to go, all right? So just so you know, there you are. All right, now, what we'll do here, disconnect from there, Okay. And we'll go back here. And this will take us back, okay? Now. Alrighty. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of cheats on this thing as well. Okay. Uh, Advanced Warfare is one of our latest cheats that we're going to be using here. Alright, just so you know. Go to Xbox 360 games. We'll fire up Advanced Warfare. So on and so forth. Alright, and as you can see, Advanced Warfare is bypassed. Everything is good. Should load. 
hopefully. We'll see. There we are. Good. All right, now, let's start. We'll go to multiplayer. All right, and then we're going to get the uh, Advanced Warfare Bypass once again and all that happy nonsense. And then we're going to we'll go into a multiplayer. We're going to go into a uh, we're going to go into a local game. As you can see, your line sheets are loaded. I'm going to explain how to use the cheats and all that kind of good stuff. All right, here we go. Now. All right. So there we are. Our cheats are loaded. Everything is good. All right. Uh go to Xbox Live. We're going to fetch the online profile. Takes it a minute. Go get it, boy. Go get it. <laughs> um on this sheet you hold in the left trigger, push down on the left thumbstick. I, I mean, excuse me, push down on the left D-pad, okay? That will open the menu. You use A to select and then B to back out, all right? So here we are. All right, good. Now, Xbox Live, yeah, we got all this crap. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know, we know, okay? Now, all right. Now, with an amazing amount of luck on my operator, will show up with his pink pants. There you are. That's good. All right. We'll do a little private match here real quick. Okay, we'll do a game setup. Yeah, I'll add one friendly bot, and the rest of them I'll do like that. And then we'll do hardened, okay? I'll bring that back, okay? Now, to open up the cheat before you start the game, hold in left trigger, push down on the left D-pad, that brings it up, okay? Use A to select, and you turn all this stuff on. Everything works on it, okay? Spoofing gamer tag, flashing gamer tag, steel gamer tag, you know, prestige disco, any d rank. You know, so on and so forth, lead game, end game, all that crap. Now we're going to back out of there. Aimbot, click that. You got ADS mode, you got silent mode. Okay, so I'm going to use ADS mode. Best bone, no spread, auto, uh, now I'm going to turn off auto fire. Auto wall, that's for a wall banger. All right, any aim. Okay, now you can turn that on and have a riot shield. You can do fake lag if you want, so that way then it drops packets and it makes it really hard to hit you. All right, ESP, we'll turn that on. We're going to use 3D boxes. I'm going to draw bone lines, draw a name, draw a distance, draw a weapon, snap lines, okay? Use the D-pad for this. We go this way. We got bottom, center, top. We're going to go off of bottom. Snap lines mode, all players, enemy, friendly, all players. Crosshair, hit crosshairs. That's what I'm going to use. You can use spread crosshairs or hit off or hit crosshairs. I'm going to use hit crosshairs. I'm going to back out of here, all right? Your players, when you're in a game, you're going to see them and you can stalk them. You can set them, you know, I mean, whatever you want to do. Settings. You can adjust your field of view. Okay, you can move the menu. It goes anywhere you want. All right, so there we are. And then we hit A to, to, to disable move menu. All right, then we hit B to back out of there. I'm going to leave the aimbot open because I'm going to be using that. And then I'm going to close the menu out. And we'll start the game. Okay? Now, here we go. All right, so the game's starting. All right. It's just a demonstration. Like I said, it all works online. You'll have no problems. There we go. We're synchronizing the game settings and all this other happy nonsense. There we go. Okay, good. We'll do Sentinel. And then we'll grab hold of this crazy gun right here. That'll work. All right, and as you can see, we have our snap lines. Orange is a bad guy. Green is a good guy. Purple is a wall banger. If we want to turn to red, pull the trigger. All right? And in ADS mode, you have to aim down your sights, of course. All right, so we'll run through the jungle here. All right, now, jump off of here, get over here. Here we go. All right, yeah. And as you can see, they'll turn red. And pretty much, oh, shit. Ooh, I'm bloody. <laughs> That's okay. Like I said, it works pretty good. <laughs> Everybody's dying, yes. All right, so we'll walk through here. Yeah, yeah, you're not doing too good, are you, pal? <laughs> Shit! Uh, got you! <laughs> so, like I said, when it turns red, just let them have it. There we go. Oh, you little... Really? Seriously? And the, uh... Uh-oh, I'm out of bullets. That's not a good... Th Damn it! <laughs> Alright. Oh, he had a yellow one. <laughs> okay. So anyway, all right. So anyway, as you can see, it works pretty good until you run out of ammo, actually. Now, what we can do is we can open it up, and we can go to, uh, let's see here. We can go to silent, okay? We can do auto fire, all right? Now, you don't have to do anything except roam around here, okay? So on and so forth, and it'll find 
whoever is uh, going to be the sucker that gets killed here, like this poor, you know, like this poor sap right here. You don't have to aim. You don't have to do anything. All you gotta do is just friggin' roam around and get anybody and any, and everybody with this damn thing. Okay, and jump up and down. Yep, there you go. Don't even have to aim. Guy's gonna die. Hey, where are you? Yeah, come here. See? So on and so forth. Nope, don't want to hit you. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, cheats work real good. Okay, enjoy it. Have fun with it, all right? Now, I'm going to get out of here. Yes, okay. Now, just to show you, all right, we're going to go ahead and what we're going to do is now we'll do a little BO2. All right, now these cheats, okay, now we're porting over this, uh, the Advanced Warfare cheat over to the other, uh, over to the other games, all right, but for right now, we have different cheats on these, all right, so what we'll do is we'll go on over here, all right, now BO2 has uh, a GSC menu, all right, and uh, it's uh, known as Jiggy and Sentinel, and they've been around for a long time, okay, so anyway, what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you this sheet. Now, this sheet works for MW3 and Ghosts, all right? And there's a certain way to run it. Let me find the damn game first <laughs> in this sea of games. All right. Now, okay. Now, it's going to start up. Black Ops 2 is bypassed. Everything is all good with the world. So on and so forth. All right. Now. Uh, with this thing with Jiggy, you hold in the left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, A to select, X to back out. Sentinel, hold in the left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, X to select, and then push in the right thumbstick to back out of that. Okay? For the off host, D-pad left to open the menu, X to select, uh, B to back out. Alright, so, we'll start it off, go here, alright. Now, alright, here we go. Go to multiplayer. And you're going to see it's going to be bypassed once again. And the cheats will be loaded. Alright. Now, I'm going to do a quick little local game. And we'll just do a local game. Make life simple. Set up the bots. We'll do nine of them. Okay, and we'll start the match. Now, with, J with Jiggy, unfortunately, you have to set the host to be able to use that online. Okay, and I'm going to explain that to you. Alright. Uh, the off host, you don't have to do that. You can just go in there and use the off host, okay? But if you want to use Jiggy, you got to set the host. And therefore, it's going to look for people that are closest to you because you're going to be the host. So it's going to try to find the, find the closest people to you, okay? Which actually accelerates the, 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 uh, the lobby, the lobby look up and everything. So anyway, hold on left trigger, push down the right thumbstick. There's Jiggy, okay? We're going to use uh, A to select. Okay, we're going to do quick mods, which does a bunch of mods. Whatever's going to happen, it's going to tell you right here. Then we're going to back out of that by hitting X. Okay, now, if you want to use this online, you have to go into a section by yourself. You have to go to host only. You got to hit A to force the host. Then you back out of that session, go into a public session, and wait for a bunch of suckers to come in there and have a blast with them. Okay, so anyway, that's how that works. Now, we'll back out of here. Okay, I'm going to modify some bullets here just for the hell of it. You got swarms, grenades, explosive bullets. Hunter killers, all that crap, okay? We'll use dog bullets and flare bullets. There we go. All right, now, we'll back out of this menu completely by hitting X. Now, we'll open up the, um, the off host right there. Now, the off host works, like I said, without having to force the host, okay? So, now we'll hit, uh, let's see here. X to select. We'll turn all this crap on, okay? Aimbot menu, we'll turn that on, on screen. And you set it up any which way you want to. I set it up this way. I have for years. Okay, there we go. We get snap lines. D-pad left to close the menu. When the snap line turns blue, let them have it. Fly through the air with the aid of Jiggy, and then we could just like completely blow everything and everybody up. Okay, in in the lobby, as you can see, and piss off a whole bunch of people. Now, when in doubt, you can go ahead, open up uh, Jiggy. Go to aimbot, go to unfair aimbot, and now you shoot through building schools and everything else. And pretty much everybody dies, and hooray for me. You just pissed off the entire lobby. Everybody hates your guts, and they're going to be reporting your profile. Okay, so. Anyway, that's how that works. Don't do what I do. Please don't do that online. Okay. <laughs> you just piss off a bunch of people that way. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, hey, if a guy acts like a moron, well, then let him have it. <laughs> 
Turn him into a freaking, I don't know, turn him into a freaking Cronenberg or something, you know? Anyway, okay, that's how we do that. All right, now, we're back out of here, yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead, we'll back out of here, we'll go right to zombies, all right? Zombies use the Sentinel menu, okay? And it works, it works on uh, most maps. Um, it's a full-blown menu. It's a free menu. It's been around forever. It's been around for a long-ass time. All right, so we're going to do a local game real quick. All right, there we go. Transit. Okay, and we'll start the match. All right. Now, this one, hold and left trigger. Push down the right thumbstick. That'll open it up. Use X to select on this. Push in the right thumbstick to back out. Okay? Pretty easy setup here. All right, there we go. Okay, so now, hold and left trigger. Push down the right thumbstick. There it is. X to select. We'll turn God mode on. Infinite ammo on. Let me just sprint, double speed, no clip, and uh, toggle the aimbot. Now, we'll press in on the right thumbstick. That'll back you out. Weapons menu, okay? Now, we can go ahead. We can go to weapons op options and all that kind of good stuff. We back out of there, okay? Unpack a punch. There you go. And we, could, and then we just back out of there by hitting the right thumbstick. We'll go down. We'll grab something really evil. That works real good, which happens to be one of these right here. Okay, now we got a fully automatic RPG. Now we can wake up the zombies. Hey, guys. Come on. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Let's go. Where's the coffee? Oh, boy. Oh, man. Yeah, they got me back into a corner. Oh, look at them all. <laughs> They're like little cockroaches. Here, wake up. What the hell are you doing going to sleep, huh? Here, come here. Come on over here. There you go. Now, pretty much, that's the end of them, okay? I win. Hooray for me. And all of them are dead. Yes, they're all over the ground. They're all done, Okay. You got, there's a bunch of stuff on here, okay? You got weapons menu, fun menu, models menu, forge menu, zombies menu, power-ups, uh, rounds menu, teleport menu, map mods, lobby mods, game settings, menu settings, players menu, all players menu, and back to personal mods, okay? So you got a ton of stuff on there to close the menu, push in on the right thumbstick, okay, to open it back up, left trigger, push in on the right thumbstick, there you go, get out of my face, you son of a bitch, your breath stinks, okay, so on and so forth, and everybody's dead, okay? That's zombies for you, all right? And get out of here. Yes. Okay. Now that we uh, understand about that, and purge, purge menu has been around for a long time. Okay. Um, right now one of the servers is down. I know that he is working on something with it, and it'll be back up in just a little bit. But uh, with purge menu, uh, all you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna you're gonna select the text box when you open up GTA 5, and then you're gonna hit D-pad left and X, and you know, and the menu will open. A to select, B to back out. Pretty simple, all right? Um, I'm going to tell you right now, it's a sad thing because, you know, Rockstar is shutting their server down. Now, it's not Xbox Live Wide, no. Okay, it is just Rockstar has decided, in their infinite wisdom, to shut down the GTA 5 server. Now, already, people have been hitting me up saying, hey, man, listen. And, and I mean, it, there's quite a few smart people out there that actually know what they're doing, developers. They're like going like, dude. I'm going to build a server for this son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm like going like, it, now it's not impossible and it can be done, okay? But, you know, I mean, it's just going to be modded consoles on it, of course, you know? I mean, but, you know, I mean, it can be done, <laughs> you know? I mean, and there's a petition running around, you know, and all this crap and everything. And um, the reason I believe that they're shutting it down is because of the lobby-wide crashes and all the bullshit that, um, you know, the modding scene has done to the game. You know, because if you notice GTA 4, that's still around. San Andreas is still around. They haven't talked about shutting those servers down. But they did with this one. Why? Because, you know, I mean, people are getting sick and tired of when you go in there, you're getting crashed. And you can't even play the game. You know, it, it kind of sucks. So, you know, I mean, apparently they've had enough of it. And uh, everybody else has had enough of it, too. So, you know. But this thing doesn't revolve around just GTA. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff on here, as you can see, that, you know, I mean, <laughs> if you want something for entertainment, something cheap, you don't want to go out and buy a gaming PC that costs five grand. And believe me, when it comes to gaming PCs, because I, I build them too, when it comes to those damn things, all right, a true gaming PC, they tell you, oh, well, well, we'll give you, like, you know, 16 gigs of RAM. Okay, and they give you some crap video card and some crap hard drive or whatever no a true gaming pc i mean being realistically you got to have at least 32 gigs of ram you got to at least have a decent video card which is going to cost a lot of money 
Okay, you know, I mean, because video cards aren't cheap. I mean, I had to pick up a used 1080 uh, Ti Founders Edition. That cost me 250 bucks, and that's a card from way back. You know, I mean, so these video cards, if you notice, video cards are not cheap. Okay, now, you know, and if you want to play the latest games, ray tracing and everything else, be prepared to spend a lot of money because that's what's going to happen. Okay, so, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I just built one for a guy. It was like, like $4,800. <laughs> but he got 64 gigs of RAM. He got a friggin' 8, tera, eight terabyte SSD drive or whatever the hell it was. Some kind of crazy freaking drive. I don't know. I mean, he sent me the parts and I was like going like, oh my God, this is like crazy. But there are people that will go that route, you know. And then, of course, you know, if you want three or four monitors, well, you can do that too. You know, but it's all about the almighty dollar. So, you know, I mean, if you want something cheap and having fun with, well, this this would be... This, this works just fine, you know? Like I said, it does a lot of stuff. Anyway, now, look, here's the deal here, okay? What up, Joseph? How are you, man? Good to see you. Yeah. Anyway, oh, yesterday, uh, by the way, you saw I finished the college football revamped uh, giveaway that I'm doing, okay? The console giveaway. Now, I'm going to work on a hard drive on that thing um, later on, either today or tomorrow, because i got a bunch of consoles that I've got to build, okay, for customers. So i got to take care of them first, you know? I mean, first and foremost, okay? But, um, you know, I'm going to be giving that away, just so you know. All right. So, you know, it's going to happen. Just, uh, I just got to work on a hard drive. And the only thing you're going to have to do is pay shipping on it. You know, if you're in the United States, it's going to cost you 20 bucks to ship. Okay. So, you know, if you enter, be prepared. You're going to pay shipping for it. Okay. And like I said, shipping is 20 bucks. If you can't afford 20 bucks, you can't afford the damn console because you can't afford the electricity to freaking run it. Okay. So, you know, there you go. So now, all right. Now that this is all done here, I'm going to show you. How to get this freaking crazy thing online for the first time, okay? Now, this goes for the other consoles as well that I'm going to be showing you, all right? So now, when you get this crazy thing, all right, what you got to do is this, all right? Before you go, you know, plugging it in and getting ready to take on the world and all that other stuff, turn off, damn it. There you go. All right. Now, the first thing that you're going to do, you plug it in, plug your HDMI cord in. Get your controller ready and all that other happy nonsense. Get all that done. Then what I want you to do is I want you to go in here. I want you to open this up. I want you to pull a hard drive. And it says 250 on it. It is a one terabyte, okay? I won't be able to fit all that stuff on a 250 gig, all right? It's just a label because I always use new hard drive shells because I don't want the things fucking bouncing around in there. Anybody that, su that, that supplies one of these things doesn't use a hard drive shell for this, okay? And wraps it with tissue paper or whatever is an idiot, all right, because the only thing it's going to do is the heads are going to hit the platter and it's going to destroy the hard drive, okay? That's why. These are all new. So they come labeled whatever. So, you know, I have no control over that. But at least it's in a hard drive shell. Pull hard drive, okay? Power the console on. Then, once it boots up, there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead. Let me sync this controller here real quick. Okay. Yep, there we go. Okay, now. All right. Now we're booting up. Okay, we're going to come to the original dashboard. Now, you got to get this thing on your router first before you can get online. Okay? And there's a simple way to do this. That's why I pull a hard drive, okay? First off, we're not going to do that. Hard drive's out of it. We go ahead, go to settings, go to system. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to network settings. And then we're going to go ahead and, and your Wi-Fi is going to pop up over here somewhere. Okay, what I want you to click on it, put your password in. All right, when you do that, it's going to automatically test the Xbox Live connection just like this. We should get a check mark on two red X's. Okay, there we go. All right, now, the only thing that we have to worry about right here is this check mark right here. The rest of this we don't have to worry about, okay? We want that. We don't want to connect to the server. All right, because if we connect to the Xbox Live server without a stealth server, it'll ban your KV instantly, okay? So, what we want is we want a check mark, two red X's, okay? Once you get that, life is grand, all right? Then what I want you to do, I want you to power off the system, okay? Now, I said power off. I hate background downloads. Okay, now take the hard drive, shove it in. You'll feel it click. Make sure it clicks. Make sure it's, it's indented into the, into the Xbox here, okay, where the, frame, where the frame is, like, protruding out away from the hard drive. Because I had a person 
that uh, went ahead and they pulled the hard drive out on it. They didn't put it, plug it all the way in. Hey, man, where's all my games and everything? <laughs> and I'm like, going, is the hard drive all the way in? And he opens it up, right? I'm like, going, like, pull it out. Now push it in. Did it click? Well, no. Push it in. Click. There you go. Have a good day. <laughs> so anyway, make sure it's all the way inserted. All right? I said inserted. Okay. Who's ready for the Rick and Morty friggin' premiere this, uh, this Sunday, huh? This is going to be a good one. Okay. Now. All right. Close the drive door. Close all that crap. Pull the power cord. One of the most important things that you can do. Okay? If you don't pull the power cord, the damn thing is not going to connect online. It's going to wind up with a DNS error, and you're going to wind up with a mess on your hands. Leave this out for five minutes, okay? If you don't do it, like I said, you won't get on live, okay? It'll act all crazy and everything, and you'll be like going like, what the hell's going on, okay? So leave this out. After five minutes is up, then you plug it back in. Now, I'm plugging it back in. It's already on my network, so it should, by rights, work. It is a Microsoft product, so who the hell knows, but we'll give it a shot anyway, okay? Now, one, after five minutes, plug it back in and everything else, power the console on. Now, with some kind of crazy luck, this thing will boot, which it did, all right? And you will come to Aurora. You will see plugins come lock, you know, you'll see plugins come across the bottom of the screen there, letting you know that it's connected to the internet. The green stuff will stop moving around once you get an internet connection. Okay, now, my router is acting really, really funny these days. I don't understand why, but it is. And um, i got to find out what's going on with it. But as you can see, it locked up and everything. Now, we're going to get Aurora. She locked on a server. That's good. We're on the internet. We connected to my server. Okay, we're loading all the titles and everything. Life is good. All right. <clears throat> now, now, that's all done. Okay, there we are. First thing I want you to do is I want you to go to Xbox 360 dashboard, okay? I want you to hit that. Now, normally you'll get a screen that pops up that says, yeah, you're logged in and everything else. Welcome, blah, blah, blah. Well, the challenge server on, on Xbox Live has been up and down. It's been sporadic. So if you don't get that challenge, well, that screen doesn't pop up. But it doesn't mean that you're not online, okay? So anyway, what you're going to do here, all right, is you're going to go over here and you're going to go to download a profile. Okay, now what I want you to do is go to Xbox, uh, xbox.com slash live. All right, use Outlook for the credentials. Make a profile. Make a modish profile. Don't use your retail profile on this thing if you got money into it. All right, because if you do, you can lose it. All right, and not by the server or anything, but by acting like an idiot, like on BO2 or Advanced Warfare or something like that. Because if you wind up with people reporting you, Microsoft's going to look at it and they're going to say, oh, this guy is doing it, and they'll ban the profile. Won't ban the KB, but they'll ban the profile, okay? And then that profile's gone. So make a modest profile, and you can mod your retail profile from the modest profile. Pretty easy. Go to, like I said, xbox.com slash live. Go in there, make an account, use Outlook for the credentials, all right? Make sure you use a proper phone number in case they want to verify the account, in which some of them they do, because they don't want spam emails or whatever. So, you know, I mean, use a phone, okay? Uh, to verify it, use a proper phone number, okay, and make your account. Works just fine, okay? Once you do that, come back here, put your, uh, put your, uh, you know, your email in for your profile and all that stuff, and download the profile, okay? With any kind of luck, it'll sign in and actually look like this, okay? You'll see a white screen come up, and it'll say downloading, okay? Now, in the event, okay, that it doesn't download, okay? And you're stuck at that download screen, okay? See? And there you go, life is good. You're stuck at that download screen, all right, halfway, and it's still not doing anything. If you're sitting there for five minutes, it got corrupt, okay, in the download process. Now, if that happens, it ain't no big deal, okay? All you got to do, hit the B button, come back here, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. And this is only if you cannot sign into live with your profile, okay? You go up, go over, go to settings, go to system. Okay, go to storage, and then in the storage, go to the hard drive, go to your profiles. Wherever you put your profile, that's where you go, okay? Now, when you pull up your profile, what's going to happen is, is underneath this profile right here, now, the reason why my profile is not on here is because my profile is on a USB stick, okay? So, you know, if you look, okay, wherever your profile is, okay, see, there's my profiles right there, okay? For all intents and purposes, you put it on the hard drive or whatever, all right? 
go to profile underneath here will be that profile that you tried to download that is corrupt i want you to highlight it hit a delete it get it right off the hard drive just get rid of it then back out of here back out of here back out of here leave the hard drive highlighted hit y clear the system cache do it twice just for the heck of it just to make sure And the system cache is clear. Then go back here, back here, up, over, social, sign in, sign out. Download the profile, okay? Once you download the profile and it downloads and it all is right with the world, hit the guide button and go back to Xbox Home. That'll take you back to Aurora, okay? Now, it's normal for it to say disconnected from Xbox Live because it's actually spoofing the uh, title, you know? I mean, because you don't want them to see that you're running Aurora, okay, <laughs> you know, so it's saying that it's doing something else, okay, so anyway, all right, now, now that's done, okay, now, the, this uh, Xbox 360 dashboard is located in the homebrew, just like XM360, now, what I want you to do is I want you to go to XM360, very important that you do this, okay, just to make sure, and for my peace of mind, and your peace of mind, go to XM360, hit A, run it, Okay, right now, you got a black screen, which is cool. It's okay. Doesn't make a bit of difference. Okay, because right now, what it's doing is scanning the damn hard drive. It's finding all of the title updates, all of your DLC, all of your games, all of your game saves, everything. It's looking through the entire hard drive, okay? It's going to throw it up there in a minute. All right, now, just like that. Now, what I want you to do is, I want you to, okay, we found everything. Just go over here, D-pad over it, and go to Rescan All, and just hit Rescan. Just for the hell of it, okay? Now, it'll go through all the DLC and all the stuff here, as you can see what it's doing, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to unlock everything. We're going to make sure that everything is hashed properly to the console, because if it isn't hashed to the console, you can't use it, okay? It, you know, it's a security feature that Microsoft came up with, and of course, some 13-year-old wrote this damn thing and completely bypassed it anyway. So... <laughs> I have to admit, though, Microsoft has come a long way with the Xbox One. Anyone who's thought of using virtual machines for each and every game, that was a fucking stroke of genius right there. All right. And, of course, DRM, that doesn't help. And nobody feels like going to jail. All right. So, anyway. Okay. Now, here we are. We're at all at our XBLA. As you can see, we have padlocks. They're all unlocked. Okay. But we're going to go ahead. And what I want you to do is I want you to go over. Go to unlock XBLA. Hit A. Zero files are unlocked. Okay, that's good. Now, we're going to show the DLC. Okay? Now, there's all of our downloadable content. We're going to bring this over. Unlock DLC. We're going to hit A. Now, there you go. Now, unlock two DLC files. Okay? All right. And most likely, they were for NCA 14 because they are, you know, newer stuff. Okay? So, anyway, hit OK. We're good. Okay, everything is unlocked now. Everything is cool. All right? Whenever you put a new game on this machine... All right, there, there, there's some gigs left on this thing to, to put a game on here. Okay, if you, there's some games that you don't like, you can remove them. And the games that you do like, you can rip them from disk. Okay, and put them on the hard drive if you want. Okay, but whenever you do that, remember, you're going to have to download the title update, any DLC, and if you get the DLC off of a website or whatever, and you put it on here, you have got to come here and unlock it. Otherwise, it's not going to be hashed to the console, right? And, you know, and you ain't going to be able to run it. All right, so just to let you know. Well, we unlocked everything. Okay, life is good. Then we go to exit to dash. All right, that's how we unlock stuff, all right? And what I mean by title updates and everything, in case you don't know, all right, Aurora has been around for a long, long time. FSD was its predecessor, okay? Uh, we all know FSD. We all know Aurora. For people that don't know, all right, I'm going to show you something here, okay, real quick. All right, because I'm trying to give you as much information and guidance as I can, okay, so you understand. All right, listen. If you got a game, okay, and let's say you loaded a new game on here and everything, all right, now you got it all done, okay, you copied it over, you, you ripped it from disk, all right, you copied it over, all right, now, you go to that game, let's say it's this one right here, all right, now, you're going to hit, you're going to go ahead, you're going to hit Y for details, okay, then you're going to come here, now you'll see title updates, and if your D-pad left over, DLC, if you D-pad over once again, file manager. So if there's any DLC for it or anything like that that's on Aurora, you can download it and put it on here, okay? But anyway, we're just going to do it with a title update, all right? So as you can see, we have title update. We're going to hit A, 
All right, now, it's already installed, okay? Like I said, I already installed all your title updates, so you don't got to do it, all right? I want you to be able to turn it on and play the fucking game. That's what I want you to do. Okay, so anyway, all right, if you put that game on there, you don't have the title update, okay? Go to Unity Marketplace, okay? Now, if they have the title update, you can download it from them, okay? If they don't, start the game up. It'll go through Xbox Live, and it'll download the title update, okay? Pretty easy, all right? Either way... Either way, it'll work, okay? So anyway, just so to show you, all right? There you go. And, you know, if you want to download another one, you just got to highlight it, hit A, and it'll download it. And it'll queue it, and it will download it, okay? Just so you know. But that's how you do that, okay? Also, if you want different artwork, you can go to uh, here, right here. Download cover. And any kind of multiple covers that they got, you can download and change, you know? I mean, there's a whole ton of features on this thing. That people don't even know or don't even use, you know? I mean, so just to let you know, all right? So anyway, a little bit about Aurora, okay? Now, okay, we'll go ahead. We'll go over to emulators, okay? Now, classic games. Let's see here. Where is it? There it is, emulators, okay? I'm going to use one of my favorites here, which is NES. Okay, NES emulator. Now, MAME. MAME's got 8,000 ROMs on it. Have a blast with it or whatever, okay? All of them got ROMs on them. Have a blast, okay? But we'll use NES. Just start it up. It'll go. Hopefully. There we are. And we'll go down to my favorite, which happens to be Donkey Dude. Okay, let me see here. Where, where the fuck is he? Darius. Yes. Okay. Donkey Dude. Okay, we'll hit it. All right. Now, using the back button, you can select what game you want to play. Hit start. All right. Game will start up. Hopefully. We'll see. There we are. Okay. And there's a fucking Mario, huh? Okay, running around like a fucking idiot. Okay? Jumping around. Yay! Yeah, have fun. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, now. Now, what you can do with this is this. Hit Y. Okay? There's your graphics. You can set it up. Give you a little bit better graphics. Okay? You can go over to full screen. You can turn it on full screen. Then just hit B to back out of there. And as you can see, now we have a full screen. I'm going to die. I know I'm going to die. Yep, I died. So, anyway... Okay, as you can see, now you have a full screen, okay? At any point in time, you can you can adjust the graphics on it, set it up whichever way you want to set it up and all that other happy nonsense, okay? Um, now, I'm going to tell you, though, uh, with MAME, push in on both thumbsticks, all right? That will bring up the sub-context menu as well. And if there's a mod, if there's a mod for the game, they, you, you know, you can enable it. No big deal. So, oh, I got lucky on that. Yeah, there we go. Shit! Yep, that's the story of my life right there, okay? With a fucking halo. Anyway, yeah, donkey dude, okay? Bring this back. Like I said, it plays multiple stuff, you know? I mean, and if you don't know this, the original Xbox, you have people that still buy these damn things, okay? In fact, I'm building another one for a guy. Um, The original Xbox, oh my God, the emulators on that, it just, countless foes in Rocky Five. what he did with the emulation, just amazing. Just freaking utterly amazing. I love the original Xbox. I got it in my living room right now. Playing Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Armageddon. Okay? So anyway. And it works good in 720p. I'm telling you. But anyway. Needless to say. You know. I mean. That's your emulators right there. Okay? Now. Classic Games. That's a horse of another color. Okay? If you go to Classic Games. Alright. You will see. You got a bunch of them there. But the only way to play them is in Bypass Mode. Okay? Bypass mode bypasses plugins 2 through 5 and dash launch, okay? Now, tell you what we'll do. Alistair, what's happening, man? Yeah, Alistair, everybody knows that, man. It's all over Facebook. We know that they're shutting down. And, in fact, I mentioned that already, that they're just shutting down the, the, um, the GTA 5 servers. So, you know, I mean, like I said, it is what it is. This thing doesn't, doesn't evolve around GTA only, you know. I mean, as you can see, there's 10 million games on this damn thing. And a lot of people buy it for college football revamp more than anything, really. So, it doesn't make a bit of difference. It's all good. Anyway, needless to say, okay, um, you know, classic games, okay? ton of these damn things, all right? A ton of them. Okay, now, bypassing plugins 2 through 5, okay? Look, what I mean by that is this. Let me show you something here, all right, just so you know, okay? Let's see here. We'll go to back to homebrew. This is dash launch right here, okay? 
Dash Launch is a very misunderstood program by a bunch of people. I don't know why, but when the, but, but, you know, newer people, they don't know about this thing. Okay, you got your paths. Okay, if you look, the default is Aurora. Okay, boots up into. All right, button B will bring you to, button B will bring you to FX menu. Button Y will bring you to the stock dashboard while it's booting up and all that other happy nonsense. There's all kinds of stuff, okay? You know, I mean, so on and so forth. You set up fake anime, whatever you want to do. It's all there. All right, behavior. Don't go in here and change shit around, okay? Because if you don't know what you're doing, you know, I mean, it's, you're going to wind up messing something up. But, you know, I mean, normally when you highlight something, it's going to give you a description of what it does, okay? All down here. Everything's explained through this thing, all right? Now, close that out by hitting A. Network, okay? If you notice, no, I don't want that. I want that off, okay? If, for some reason, you can't connect to Xbox Live, okay, or you can connect... But you can't sign in your profile. Make sure, make damn well sure that these three right here, this one, this one, and this one, are not green. Okay, if they're green, you're never going to get online. Okay, so all you got to do is just, just you know, just hit A and set them to red. And then once you do that, all you got to do is hit RB. That'll bring you back. Highlight the HDD and hit X to save it, and then beat it back out. It's pretty easy. All right. So you know you got your timers. So on and so forth for your hard drive. Don't mess around in there. All right. Plugins. This is what I meant by bypassing plugins. You're going to bypass two through five. So XBDM is going to be, you know, available. Okay. Which means that you're able to connect to it through neighborhood or FTP or whatever. Okay. But these are your plugins right here. Okay. Now, if you want to play the game without it being on live, in which I had a customer that did. Okay. You would disable this right here by hitting Y. Okay. Once you hit Y, you clear the path. And then you save it, okay? No big deal. As, as you can see, right, any, save, load, left, miscellaneous, okay? So needless to say, you know, I mean, when you want to, if you want to, if you just want to play, you know, your emulators, your burn backed up games or anything, without Xbox Live, you can, okay? It runs all different ways. You can do it, you set it up any which way you want to. It doesn't make a bit of difference, okay? So, anyway, all right. So, all we did is save it. X to save, and then beat it back out of it, and it'll restart Aurora. And then, you know, you have to shut it down for the settings to take it to take effect, and then start it back up. Pretty easy, okay? But anyway, to play classic games, you have to put it in bypass mode, and I'm going to show you what bypass mode is, okay? As soon as it's done loading. I don't want to mess up the database structure. All right, now, okay, just to show you here, all right, bypass mode. All righty. Here we go. Power the console off. Okay. Bypass mode is very, very simple. Turn it off. Damn it. Thank you. Power. Eject. Leave the tray hanging out. Okay. Now, it's going to boot, but you will notice that you are not connected to the internet. You will not get any plug-in notices or anything like that. You won't get any of that crap. All right. Because you're going to be offline. Well, you'll be on your local area network, but you're still going to be offline, okay? You're not going to get the live. You're not going to play Xbox 360 games or anything like that. You're not going to play with your friends or anything, okay, because it's offline, all right? It's the only way that, the, that you know, classic games work right now. Okay, so now, all right, and if you didn't notice, uh, Xbox Live 1.0, the original one for the original Xbox, that's coming up back online. Some maniac wrote a server. Okay, and uh, they're testing it now, so that will be coming out shortly, okay, <laughs> which is amazing. All right, boy, the lengths that people go. Holy shit. All right, so anyway, now we sync up the controller here, all right, and now what do we, now what do, we do? We go ahead, we hit RB, we'll go over to Classic Games, and here we are on Classic Games, okay? Now, yeah, play Classic Game, whatever you want to play, it's all there, okay? I mean, all of these are here. Like uh, this one right here. All right, just start it up. As you can see, it'll blink twice. And you'll see that it's going to load. It's going to play. Life is good. No, I don't want to apply the update now. Jesus Christ, there ain't no fucking update for it. What the hell are you trying to say? All right. God almighty. All right, so anyway. <laughs> uh, this, this is the game that played on the original Xbox back from 2002. Shut up, bitch. All right. And there it is, and it's playing, and life is good, and so on and so forth. There you are, okay? And it plays. No big deal. So, start. 
Okay, and uh, no, I don't want to create an alias right now. And there's the game playing, and there it is, okay? And it all works, all right? Now, once you get out of this thing, if you hit the guide button on some games, it will fatal crash. Do not panic. Do not go crazy. It's fine. It just got a software error because something in memory is poking or peeking or, or doing something in there that's causing it to crash when it shuts down, okay? Which is no big deal. You're not going to hurt anything, all right? So, just to warn you, okay, on some games. So, once you're done and you want to play a different game or whatever, hit the guide button. Eh, it didn't fatal crash this time. That's cool, all right? And then go back to Xbox Home. You notice the guide is totally different now. That's because you're not online, okay? Yes. And that will take you back to Aurora, all right? All the games that are on here work, okay? Just like I said, sometimes with, with some of them games, when you go ahead and you open the guide up, it's going to fatal crash. Just a warning, okay? Now, okay, now that that's all done, all right? Now, okay, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this crazy thing, all right? Here's the deal here. All right, now, okay. Here's what's going to happen. When you get this thing, you're going to want to copy files and folders over like I've been telling you, okay? You're going to have to learn how to do that. Now, it's not very hard to do. You can use the archaic method of using a USB stick. You can get up to a 64 gig stick, format it FAT32, so on and so forth, all right? Put whatever you want on this thing, like, you're, like if you want to change the KV, if you want to put a menu on if you want to copy a whole game over, you can. Okay, it's no big deal. Now take your USB, shove it in the friggin' Xbox, okay? And you can have an indicator coming up saying that there has been a device inserted in its anus, okay? Now, what you do is there's an onboard file manager. It's called File Manager. <laughs> All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open it up by hitting A. Okay? Now, as you can see... As soon as it comes into focus, there we are. All right. Now, you'll see we have a simple window style, you know, file system, file manager. The left window pane and the right window pane. Okay. Now, how easy is this? Okay. Listen. All right. First, we're going to go ahead. We're going to set the left window pane. We're going to copy from right to left. HDD1. Okay. Most of the time, in the root of the hard drive is where all your stuff is, all your mod menus, all your stuff, everything is all right here. Okay? So now. All right. Now we're going to go over to the right window pane by hitting RB. Okay? Now we're in the right window pane. Now what do we do? We'll go to the USB stick that has the stuff on it. All right? Now we'll trigger down and we'll go and we'll grab, like, let's say a menu or something like that. Okay? Just like that. We hit X. Okay, bring it over. Copy. Okay, now it's going to copy the one that we selected. See, one file and queued for copy. Then hit LB. Okay, we're over in HDD1. Go over, paste. Hit A. Yes. Okay, there's the menu right there. Now, once the menu's installed, you go into Dash Launch. You set your plugin. You set it as the plugin, and life is good. Okay, now to delete it, X. Bring it up. X, delete, yes. Pretty simple, okay? That's a simple file manager. That's as simple as you're going to get, okay? Uh, if you're going to copy a game over, make sure that game is in a folder with the game name, okay? And all the stuff, all the content is in that folder, okay? Then you go to games right here, and you can easily, as you can see, like this one right here, okay, you see the folder right there. Everything's got a file structure and folder, okay, which is pretty much self-explanatory, the way that I set them up, it's very simplistic, and it works really good, and it's very understandable. It's not stuff spread all throughout the freaking hard drive like a, like a freaking maniac, okay? Anyway, Black Ops 2. Hit A, and you'll see there is the actual game right there, okay? There it is. Now, we'll, now we'll go up one, one directory, okay? There you are, all your games. So all you would do is go here, grab your game, mark it, okay? And then go over here. 
you're under the games folder, and then all you got to do is just hit paste, and it'll paste the whole game right there with the folder intact. And then you just scan it in with Aurora, and it'll download the artwork, put your title update on it, and go. Okay, or your DLC and you know, all that stuff. And remember to go to the XM three hundred and sixty, and you know, and go ahead and hash it to the console. End of story. Okay, very simplistic, works great. Now, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna back out of here. Okay, I'm gonna remove this drive now. If I can get it the hell out of there, <clears throat> there we go. And we'll back out of here. Now, copying files and folders over using FileZilla or WinSCP, or whatever it is that you want to use, all you need is an FTP client, okay? I'm going to show you how to do that. Here's your IP address right here, 192.168.1.19. Now, that's your local IP address. It's not your public one, okay? Otherwise, if I showed that up on here, I'd get DOS like you would not believe. So, anyway, that's your local IP right there, dot .19. This is pretty easy. Okay, I'm going to bring it over to my computer right now, okay? There we are. And I'm going to have my trusty keyboard. I'm going to put that right here. All right. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you. You can go ahead and bring this over. Whoop. Dang it. What the hell? It figures. Sorry about that. Whoopsie. Get rid of that. There we go. Okay. Now, now you can see. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Here's the deal here. Okay, now you can download WinSCP for Windows. You could download FileZilla. Uh, Mac has a built-in file FTP manager. Doesn't really matter. Okay, anything that is FTP, you can even use your phone if you want. Open this up. Bring this down here. Open up WinSCP. Okay? Now, all right, here you go. New version. Oh, it was released, WinSCP. Cool, I'm going to have to update this. All right. Anyway, file protocol, you're going to select FTP. Then you're going to put in the host name. No encryption. Put in the host name. 192.168.1.19. Okay? Then put in your username, which is going to be Xbox FTP. Okay? Your password is going to be Xbox FTP. All right? We're going to log in. <clears throat> All right? Reading remote directory. There we are. And there's your file structure once again. We're going to mess around with HDD1. That's the only thing that we're going to mess around with. Open up HDD1. There's the root of the drive right there. Your games folder, like I said. All your stuff nice and neat in a folder where they need to be. Not just slammed around all over the damn place, okay? Then, your homebrew section, where your tools are. Okay? And, uh, let's see here. Your OG Xbox is where all your original Xbox games are. So on and so forth, okay? As you can see, the file structure is very simple. Your content folder, <clears throat> okay? You go into the 16.0 folder, you will see all of your titles. That's your media title ID. Every single one of these things is a damn game, okay? And that's where all your DLC and all your crap goes in there and title updates. So on and so forth. So pretty simple, all right? Now, we'll go up here. Root of the drive right here, okay? You want to copy a folder over or a file or whatever, Really easy. Drag it. Drop it. <clears throat> there it is. Okay? Delete it. Right click. Delete. Okay? Very simplistic. Alright? <laughs> okay? There you go. Like when they do the update for NCAA 14. Okay? Which they're doing today. Alright? If you go into NCAA 14 right here, you will see. Alright? These six files right here, these right here, those are the ones that you're going to wind up updating, okay? You might have to update the DLC also as well, all right? Now, if you have to update the DLC, well, uh, then you got to go ahead and you got to put that in the folder, you know, in the NCAA football uh, folder. In fact, um, that would be under the title media ID. You put your six folders in there, and then what you would do, you go up here. And then where, you, where it says you download the DLC off of the uh, GitHub, all you got to do is this. You go into the content folder right here, the 16.0 folder right here, and the media title ID is going to be 454109B6, okay? So, what we do is we go to 454, where the hell is it? Let me see here. 
It's got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> I think it is anyway. Four, five, four. There, there we go. Okay. 454-109-B6. 109-B6 right there. Now, <clears throat> if you look here, okay. Your 0002 folder, that's where your downloadable content goes. And there it is. Okay, so you would just copy and paste it in that folder. It's that simple. Okay? Very, very simple. You know, so I, that's as simple as you can get. Okay? I can't go any simpler than that. All right, now, we'll exit out of FTP. Yes. Okay, now, for those of you who are adventurous and um, you're a Microsoft diehard and love Microsoft, they have a program called Xbox 360 Neighborhood, which connects to a dev kit, which also connects to an RGH. You can go and download Xbox 360, uh, you know, SDK, latest edition. It's on YouTube, Google, all that crap. It's been around forever. All right. You install it just like you would a Windows 10 program, and then you wind up with a green blob. Okay, you open it up, okay? First off, we're going to disconnect from this one. Delete. Yes. We're going to add an Xbox. Here you go. Next. And name and IP. 192.168.1.19. Now, I'm using the IP. You can type in JTAG. If it's the only one that's on your network, it'll find it, okay? Hit next, okay? Now, I'm not going to set it as the default, but you are, so you hit yes. I'm going to hit no. Next. Okay, finish. There it is. Okay, right there. Right click on it, open, explore, reboot, screen capture, synchronize time, security, so on and so forth. It's all right there. Okay, open it up, double click on it. Be prepared to wait because that's what this thing does. They love that spinning circle of death. Okay, now we're going to go ahead, volume HDD. We're going to open that up. And of course, be prepared to wait. <laughs> Uh, don't you love Microsoft? Yeah. I do, like athlete's foot. All right, now. Okay, here we go. Come on. Thank you. All righty. Now, here we go. All right. Now, your files, your folder structure again, okay? You want to copy a file over? Right-click on this. File Explorer, <clears throat> bring this over, all right? Now, you want to copy a file over or whatever, we'll just go to Desktop, we'll grab hold of a file right here, just right, just, ah, you son of a bitch, no. Here we go, just grab hold of it, bring it over here, copy, drag and drop, there it is, okay? Delete it, right click, so on and so forth, delete, it'll give you the option, there you are, hit yes, and it'll be gone, okay? And plus, there's a lot more to this thing. You can start titles up from it and do all that kind of good stuff with it, okay? Xbox 360 Neighborhood, there you go, all right? Now, hopefully it doesn't crash my windows, although I have a feeling... Ah! Didn't do it this time, did he? Okay, so anyway, that's how you copy files and folders over. All that other happy nonsense, okay? Very simplistic, and, you know, like I said, it works just fine. You won't have any problems out of it. So there you go. All right. Now look. This is a guide that is for people that are new to this thing. In which there was a lot of people. All right. Um, <clears throat> also, the sun doesn't set just on GTA 5. Because like I said. Uh, if you look at NCA 14. And you go to their Facebook page. 49,000 users on that damn thing. And they're all using college football revamped. So. <laughs> And there's a lot more to this thing than just modding online with GTA 5. Okay? You can play, you know, like I said, with Xbox, with the Xbox One, it's backwards compatible. Which means the Xbox Live servers are staying up. Okay? The point of the fact, though, is, is that you can still mod a whole bunch of games that are still around if you're into that kind of stuff. Okay? Most of the people that buy it from me, they buy it for college football revamped. They buy it for the emulators. They buy it for the classic games. Okay, they're into nostalgic things. They use them for other things. They don't just use it to mod GTA on 5 online. GTA 5 is old. It's been around forever. Who cares? <laughs> God. All right. So anyway, there you go in a nutshell. It's all done. Travis, thank you for your business, man. I greatly, greatly do appreciate it. Okay, I really do thank you very, very much. All right. Now, 
I'm going to show you a couple other consoles that I got going out. And I've got a shitload more I got to build. Plus, I got to build a more uh, couple of custom PCs, a Raspberry Pi, and some other shit. Oh. Anyway, okay. Now, now that this one's done, we're going to go ahead. We're going to put this one to bed. All right. Travis, we're going to ship it out to you and get it out to you. Don't worry. You'll have a tracking number that's going to follow. Lorena, log it into the computer, and of course, you know, the website will send you a tracking number. All right, Mr. Jackson Meyer. Jackson, really cool guy. Um, he took advantage of the Summer Scissor sale that has a 120 gig drive, okay, and he paid, he paid like 175 for this thing uh, with shipping and everything done. All right, so anyway, Jackson, here's yours, man, okay? So, nice little model, all good to go. Uh, I, this one here is a Trinity, I do believe. And, of course, Instant Boot. Just like they all do. And we're going to go ahead and it's going to boot up. All right, now I'm going to sync the controller up here. And, Jackson, you're going to follow the same instructions that I just gave to Travis, okay? We use that for the guide. All right, so the same instructions. It's the same thing. It's just got a smaller hard drive, okay? As you can see, got a 120-gig drive, okay? So, here we go, Xbox 360, your 360 games, including, of course, the famed college football revamp that everybody wants and loves, okay? Fully modded, ready to go, okay? Just like it was on the other one, okay? You got some Call of Duty on here, you, you do have GTA V, you got, uh, you know, you got, a few, you got a few games on here, all right? You know, I mean, there's not too much I can stick on a 120 gig drive, okay? It's very small, all right? But anyway, okay, and then you got some... Uh, some, class, uh, some Xbox Live Arcade. You got your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then, of course, you got your emulators. Okay, and there's some emulators on there. It's not a full complement of them, but there's some emulators on there to have some fun with. Okay? Now, back to show all. Now, what you can do is, like I said, you can get an external drive, plug it into this thing, get on the internet, search around. You'll find all kinds of games and stuff like that. Pirate Bay, Torrent Sites, whatever. There are a ton of games on there that you can download and put on an external drive. Set the path and you're good to go. Okay? You know, I mean, it's no big deal. If you need help, message me. Okay? Anyway, we're all good to go here. We'll go to the original dashboard. Make sure she's online. In which she is, of course. There you are. Open the guide up. And like I said, in your fifth tab, your advanced warfare sheets, BO2 sheets, ghost sheets, and modern warfare 3 sheets, so on and so forth. Okay? So, there you go. All right? We'll bring this back home. And like I said, it's the same setup, man. Okay, just, you know, it's a little bit smaller of a hard drive, all right? And Jackson, thank you for your business, brother. Okay, it's going out. You have a tracking number in just a bit. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. All right? Now, <clears throat> turn this one off here. Last but not least, <coughs> excuse me, good old Michael Stevens. Now, Mr. Stevens, <laughs> also known as freaking Crazy Cookie, okay, which if you don't know that name, that was the original inventor of the Purge menu, uh, and him and Stalio are very good friends, and um, <clears throat> needless to say, this is his console, okay? Now, of course, he sends it to me. In a box. Surrounded by a towel. Thank you for the towel, man. I greatly do appreciate it. Okay? All right. Now. <clears throat> Mr. Cookie. <laughs> you sick, twisted little monkey. All right. Crazy. Here she is. She's all done, man. Okay? You watch me build it in Messenger. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. God, I got to... I don't want to say I got something in my throat, but I do. Um, uh, anyway. Mm, that's better. All right. <clears throat> now, Mr. Cookie, it's all done. Ready to go. Pop it in. I don't have to tell you how to get this thing online, do I? Okay? Because if I do, I'm going to snap. Now, as you can see, this one, another Insta booter, of course. You know my work. You've been around forever. You've known me forever. All right, so. <laughs> anyway, she's booting up. 
we're going to get into Aurora. Now, I set it up on Aurora dashboard. You set it up whichever way you want to do it, okay? It's all up to you. All right, but I just want to show you how well it boots and everything, okay? I'm going to sync up the controller here. And I'll go ahead, and there we go. Now, when I did this thing, okay, uh, he sends it to me. All right, now, now, there was a disc in it, okay? And I put that disc back in there. Now, Mr. Cookie, or should I say, is it crazy or is it Mr. Cookie? Oreo, okay? Um, dude, are you worried about your figure? Okay, I mean, I really want to know, all right? Because I find this in there, and for some reason in my pea little brain, I, in my, in, in this scope of things, I, I, I just have this vision of you in the middle of your living room on a mat, okay? With cut off purple shorts, a bright fluorescent green guinea tea, okay, and you sweating to the oldies, okay, all right, you know, I mean, I'm like, I'm like, dude, your shape, fitness involved with a connect, okay, all right, now, now, now that my image of you is blown, you know, and then of course he sends me this towel, now. What's on this towel has got me very scared, so I'm going to scour my hand, all right? You know, I mean, but, uh, Cookie, <laughs> you're killing me, man. I'm just kidding with you, and you know it. All right, so anyway, all right, look, man, you got, you got your shape, fitness involved, fitness involved. You going to mod that, too? Are we going to make a mod menu for that? Okay, I mean, I really want to know. <laughs> ah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, we could put thigh highs on, on, on the model, we can... We, we can dress her up in a corset, you know, we do all kinds of stuff. We can maybe, maybe, maybe put a fucking machine on her or something like that. Yes, we're going to exercise the Kegel maneuvers, okay? Holy shit! Anyway, okay, so look. Bunch of games on here as usual, of course. Alright? And yes, you got this one too. And it's the latest edition. And yes, you can play college football revamp too, okay? And then, of course, you got your Xbox Live Arcade. You got some Live Arcade on there. Like I said, your homebrew section. And, of course, your emulator, so on and so forth. All right. And back to show off. All right. So, Mr. Cookie, or should I call you crazy? Whatever it is that I should call you, my friend. Okay? You know I love you. <laughs> and, actually, it was a pleasure getting this going for you. All right? You know, I mean... I, but I, I found it, uh, you know, it, it just brings back nostalgic memories, okay? It's like it's like it was yesterday. And you haven't been around for a while, man, you know? I mean, I, 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 all of a sudden, I had a clear blue. There's Crazy Cookie. Holy shit. All right. So, anyway, listen. Dude, it's done. Shipping it off to you, all right? Hope you have a good one. Thanks again for your business, man. I really do appreciate it. Guys, I hope that you all have a great day, okay? Be safe. Be careful. Be cool, and uh, you know we're gonna move on from here. And uh, I got a ton, I got a ton more I gotta do. So I'm busy. You all have a good one. I'm gonna holler at you all later. Okay, enjoy and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Take care, guys.